Hello. Uh, <laughs> Can you um, talk a little bit about the team dynamic with Barry and uh, his new friends and how they'll be interacting? Yeah, I mean, you know, one thing we were able to do on this show that we weren't on Arrow, because so much of it was keeping his secret, you know, uh, was really give him a group at the outset. The original design for the Star Labs gang was, you know, if we're going to be really dealing with sci-fi elements on the show, having a group of characters that make that fun to discuss and have conversations about with the audience. Uh, that was that was sort of, I think, in the sort of construct of it. Uh, and so, uh, and then you also knew that, for me, part of the fun of the character was we, we talked a lot about the right stuff and, and that film and sort of as they were learning the power of these you know rockets and, and trying to send a man into space you know here we have a guy you know uh, who can break the, the sound barrier when he runs you know and, and he's this jet he's sort of this human jet so you know uh, all of the science of him uh, and, and or like you think about like uh, you know Apollo 13 or something you know like those kind of movies where it's like putting that kind of stuff together that, that's kind of the fun stuff I think for the team and then there's the emotional half of it of you know uh, you know none of them necessarily signed up for this you know um, and yet here they are and and they went from being sort of like working at a mixture for, of like uh, Steve Jobs and Elon, you know, Elon Musk, you know, and now they're kind of working at, they're all persona non grata, working at a place that's kind of defunct, helping out a guy who wants to be a superhero, you know, uh, so there's that kind of element. And then there's the crime element, which Joe brings in, uh, and, and, you know, they're dealing with real criminals. And so there's lots of, there's all sorts of fun, I think, to be had in, in, all, in all that. Can you talk about um, Barry and his dad? I mean, that was one of the, um, like, their scenes in the yeah. pilot was one of the best, you know, my favorite moments. Um, can you talk about how that um, thread will continue throughout the season? Yeah, I mean, his father's innocence and, and uh, you know, now Joe, is, it's not just Barry who knows that his dad's innocent, it's now Joe who's never thought of it that way. And, and here he's a guy who's sort of like, really, when he sets his mind to crack the case, he's going to crack the case. So he, him and Barry working on it together, I think is, and it's sort of interesting because it's kind of his surrogate dad is helping him free his biological dad, uh, and, and, and then we have the sort of like, maybe nefarious dad, you know, <laughs> who he's also working with. Um, so um, we always think it's sort of like, we talk a lot about how Barry kind of has many fathers, like a real athlete or something, you know, have different coaches, you know. Um, uh, and so, yeah, the pursuit of, of what really happened that night and free getting, you know, I don't think Barry could ever experience a more joyful moment than his father walking out of that cell. Uh, and we found, we found, we hope even in the outset, some really interesting ways to, to keep that story going and to keep, you know, uh, you know, what's it like when, flat, when, when, you know, or does his dad, uh, his real dad, his biological dad, uh, see the Flash for the first time? You know, what's that like? Uh, so there's there's all sorts of, I think, fun elements. Do you have any plans to bring in any other actors from the original Flash TV series? Um, we certainly have the hope to, I think. That would be cool. Just because for us, and again, so much of like what we, when we go to work every day, we're like, all right, we have this many horrible, like, challenging things to deal with, and what would be fun, you know? And that's on our list of like, what would be fun, I think. Um, but we, we haven't settled on who that would be. You guys have time for one more question. One thing that I always hear, people keep coming back to about the show, is how it seems to be more bright and optimistic compared to a lot of recent superhero depictions. How much of that was just sort of how the show developed organically, or how much of that was sort of something you deliberately wanted to do from the outside? It was definitely very deliberate. You never know how well you're going to pull it off. Sure. <laughs> but it was definitely, the intent was deliberate, in part, in large part, I think, because it's, it reflected who Barry's character yeah. was. And in the comic book, here was a guy who was, you know, he could run really fast. <laughs> so it wasn't like, he, you know, and he was dealing with the sci-fi world. And it was, it was, and he, he had a sense of humor and he had a sense of awe of, of the things that were happening to him and around him. And so uh, that was all, you put that kind of all together and you get a brighter, you just get a brighter yeah. show. Uh, and, and we wanted to contrast it from Arrow, you know. And we were all big Donner Superman fans. And so, and like, I thought that was a... a I've always sort of felt like that was sort of the, the most iconic version of the bright superhero world. Yeah. Can you talk about what the public's reaction to the red streak is going to be? Is it going to be like Oliver Queen or as Arrow was, or is it going to be different? Um, there, yeah, it, it's going to be different. Uh, and it's also because he's not necessarily a, a vigilante out putting arrows in people. Right. Um, uh, and there's also other weird shit happening in yeah. this town. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, and I would say... Um, People like Iris have a keen interest in this because they know that the last that Barry's been saying for years weird stuff 
uh, happened the night his mom died. And, and she cares about him, and she cares about solving that mystery, too. So, um, that's probably All right, thank you.